it's so exciting when somebody else likes your work. You know, it's not just you like your work, but somebody else likes your work. They don't have to buy it, but when somebody tells me, oh, I saw your piece and it makes me smile. That's like priceless. That's, that's, that's why I do it. I'm not going to be rich. I'm not going to be famous. And it's okay. <laughs> it's going to hang on my walls. It's going to be beautiful. My name is Violet Davenport and I'm an artist, a collage artist. I live in Farmington. I grew up in New Britain, moved to Farmington, raised my boys, and now I am a paraprofessional at Union School in Farmington and I work in kindergarten. Working with kids, like they're bright and happy and they see like the joy in life, so I try to pick happy colors and nature. The kids love nature and I love nature. And All my life I've always been artsy or you know played with drawing and photography and I tried jewelry making and all these different things but I was never super good at any of them or I didn't think so. I mean people liked the gifts I gave them or they bought things from me but I wasn't happy with the results of what I was doing. But I found this lady in um, Florida, her name is Elizabeth St. Hilaire, and she's a collage artist, and she does what I wanted to do with fabric with paper. And she makes her own paper, and she cuts it and rips it and makes it into animals and foods and fruits and you know beautiful pieces of artwork. So I said, well, that's something I can do because I can glue paper, that's easy. <laughs> I don't have to take a class. So I started looking at her artwork, and you know I found one that I like and I copied it you know tried to copy it exactly and it came out pretty good and then I took a class with her in Stanford it was like a three-day workshop and I was hooked I was like this is for me I can do this and then I learned how to paint my own paper and I you know I got I started with simple things like an apple something inspires me it could be a color of a shirt you know somebody wore to school that could inspire me I could see a picture in a magazine I could spend the day in a greenhouse somewhere and then I want to do a flower you know my little artsy brain sometimes goes off like I think I want to make a a red apple and then I start to play with green papers and it turns into green and then it, you're like going back and forth and struggling so if I paint it red my brain focuses and stays looking for red paper. <laughs> I have a little ADHD sometimes. <laughs> I go through favorites every time I make one. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't. But my favorite favorite is um, Jersey Girl, which is in the show because I, I love the colors, and I've always loved cows, the Jersey cows, they just have that sad look in their eyes. And But I kind of made her a little happy because she had the flowers in her head. <laughs> and I tried something new, I wrapped the paper around the edge of the canvas, so it kind of gives it like a three-dimensional look, which I, I don't do. I usually just paint the edges one solid color, but I think that made it extra special. I don't do people that often. I, I find it hard because it's like you got to capture their personality and the face is very hard, you know, like the the eyes are hard to get, teeth are hard to get. I tried, I, ha I have a piece I tried, but it's not one of my best. <laughs> I just did the dancer piece, but if you notice, there's no details. It's just blank faces, but it works. Sometimes it works. But animals and flowers make me happy, so that's what I do. I 
I started doing the Berlin Fair, the Durham Fair, because I that was like for not professional artists, like anybody can enter and you know, I wasn't a professional. So I entered that, but I kept getting the blue ribbon. So <laughs> I was like, woo! <laughs> Somebody recognizes my talent, this is good. And then after that, the next goal was to get into like an art show. And so I tried and I got rejected and you know, I'm like, oh man, I'm not good enough. And then I made it into the New Britain Art League and I was like so happy. I had a different cow. I had um, Bessie was the name of that painting. And she made it in and I was so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, I made it into an art league. And then the next goal was to make it into the West Hartford Art League because they're very competitive. And I put in a few pieces and got rejected and I put in another piece and got rejected. And then I finally made it. I was like, yes. And now I'm in there like all the time. It's like, oh. <laughs> I was just talking about this with my wonderful husband. Recently I found out like the Girl Scouts came to see my art show at the Barney Library and that made me happy to see the look on their faces like they were excited and they asked me if I would, could teach. So I'm kind of thinking about that like teaching kids how to do it. And one goal I would love if one of my pieces was like mass produced. Oh my gosh, I think that would be so exciting to like go to Target and see one of my pieces like available. Although other people think that's not a good thing, but that's their perspective for me. I think that would be a nice goal, like to see that, wow, you know, it's out there in the world, <laughs> not just in my studio. <laughs>